This is a styling tool that I use quite often for my own personal style because of my style being a sort of edgy chic um, sort of style. I like to combine, you know, edgier, casual, casual, casual. Hey. Hey there fashion friends, welcome to today's episode. Whether you are new here or you've been with me for a while, I'm very happy that you've decided to join me here today. Well, today's video, we are talking about how I style my scarves. This is a styling tool that I use quite often for my own personal style because of my style being a sort of edgy chic and then contrast that with more sophisticated, more classic type pieces. And I think scarves can be sort of more sophisticated or more classic a lot of times. Um, and so combining that with more casual things or more edgier things, I just think it really kind of elevates the style. Cause you know, if you've been around for a while, how much this gal loves her contrasts. Yes. So that is basically what it is today. It is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. If you're looking for some inspiration for your scarves, this is the video for you. So I think with that, let's get into this. All right, so let's talk about the scarves first. Let's talk about the scarves that I am styling here today. I've chosen kind of a good range of scarves to kind of give a good idea of what each one looks like with the different ways that I like to style. And I've given cutesy names to the ways I like to style my scarves um, just for the mere fact of helping you kind of remember uh, the different ways of styling or different ways that I like to style. Um, so there we go. First one is this Everlane uh, wool scarf. Uh, it is, is what you would call, you know, a square. I guess they do call this a handkerchief scarf, even though it's massive. Um, but yeah, this is one I got from Everlane last year. They gifted it to me and I love it because it's just, again, it's classic. It's good quality and it's an easy one to style. It's great for the winter time as well when you don't wanna have the obvious sort of scarf. So this is about 32 inch by 32 inch. Then we've got this baby. I got this recently on Amazon. I'm not normally a shopper on Amazon. However, that algorithm knows that obviously I'm searching fashion and stuff. And so it was new, I was looking for faux silk scarves. So the algorithm put this one in front of me. I just was like, yes, please. It's very equestrian, you know, so very sophisticated in, in my opinion. So I just love having this for a contrast with my more casual edgier pieces. So that's kind of what that is. So 34 by 34 for this scarf. All right, so this is another Amazon purchase. Again, not my usual, but they put this in front of me as well and I just was in love because you know this girl loves black and white and loves her stripes. So 28 by 28, this is another square scarf. Uh, the next one I have, I've had this one for quite a while. Uh, this is from Madewell and this is another, this is a square handkerchief scarf. They don't make this print anymore, but they do make this same style, like the cotton handkerchief style in this size. So 22 by 22. And last but not least is my bandana scarf. Yeah, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you see these, this baby quite often. Just some boyish charm to it, some cowboy charm, kind of rebellion and edge associated with the bandana scarf. So I think that's a bit what I like about it as well. So yeah, there we go. All right. Also for today's styling purposes, I am just wearing a simple oversized t-shirt by All Saints. Um, just to kind of see, keep it simple and kind of show you how all of these scarves kind of transform a really simple t-shirt um, as well and just kind of keep it straightforward in that way. Let's talk about how to style these things. Yeah. So the first way of styling these scarves I like to call grandma chic. Yes. And that is not a stereotype. No, that is just named after my grandma because this is how my grandma used to style her scarves and she was very chic. She was very stylish. So definitely this is inspired by her. So you fold it in half tip to tip. So you end up with a sort of wide triangle and you then take it from the back of your neck and bring the other points to the front and you just tie a knot. That's ultimately what it is. You could do this with any scarves and it gives like a completely different vibe with all different types of scarves. So like depending on the material, depending on the shape. Um, and that's what I like about that is that with each of these, 
um, it sort of changes with each scarf. So yeah, but I love it with this one just because of the thick, it is thicker. Um, and I just like then how it kind of has like some good yumminess, some good coziness to it and just gives good shape with that because it's not as drapey. Uh, it's kind of fun because you can kind of shift it around a little bit, you know, kind of play with it a little bit however you want. Okay, so the next way of styling scarves is the 90s mom. Yes. Okay, so it's, again, you are folding it in half, tip to tip, and you're just gonna kind of go to the back. You can tie it from the back or you can bring it around to the front to tie it. But the reason why sometimes it's nicer to tie it from the back, if you can, is because then you can kind of see how it's going to drape. Because I think it just depends on how you want it to drape. Because this way you can kind of go more loose and have it kind of hang down a little bit more. You can bring it tighter to make it a little bit more cowboy-esque. But basically it's just letting that kind of triangle kind of zhuzh its way and just kind of let it be. Again, it's kind of like a fun way to just add some interest, add some dimension uh, to a flat look, to a more basic, boring look. Um, just adding something simple like this just adds another texture depending on um, the texture of it. Um, it's a good, another contrast of textures, you know, this being like a cotton t-shirt with the faux silk. Uh, it's just kind of a fun contrast in itself and then just the contrasting styles. So great little tool with that. Okay, so the next way of styling a scarf is Regal Ready. Yes. I always watch these period films and so it was sort of inspired by these regal men, you know, these lords of the manor. And they're, I don't know what you call, I can't remember what they're called, but basically they're like their scarves, like the top scarves that are sort of tied around. So again, it's kind of that sophisticated regal vibe then combined with the casual, edgy, youthful vibe of like a t-shirt or whatever else. Definitely love doing this one with things like a t-shirt like this because the neckline with a t-shirt is kind of boring sometimes. It's, you know, there's not a whole lot happening and it can look very basic, very boring if you don't do something with it. As well as that, in the colder months, it's a great way to keep your neck warm, especially if you're somebody like me with short hair. So that's another little practical, functional reason. So there we go. All right, again, tip to tip, halfway, and you're gonna bring it to the front. I'm gonna keep it tight on the neck. I'm gonna pull it kind of tight, obviously not so tight that you can't breathe, um, that you're choking yourself, but you're gonna bring that, the tails back around, and you're just going to tie it in a knot or tie it in a bow right over that triangle. And voila, the regal ready. That just brings a great deal of style and contrast. If you want, you can also sort of tuck it in, tuck it into the neckline and it brings even more regalness, you know, cause that's usually what they did was tuck it in. I do this a lot as well with um, button up shirts. I, you know, I do the collar pop and then I have this sort of tucked in with it. The next one is the French bow. So you're gonna take your scarf again, tip to tip. I think pretty much every one of them is tip to tip. And with this, you're going to take the bottom tip and you're gonna roll that tip to the length, to the middle. So you get a nice little tight thing like that. Then you're gonna bring it up from the back to the front and you're gonna do a bow, a little bow. And I don't get too like perfect with it. I actually think it looks better when you just kind of do it and just walk away. Um, so you can pull, you know, obviously, so there's more bow if you want, or just kind of keep the tails more there. And there you go. That is the French bow, yeah. It's just, yeah, very French. I just like the femininity of it. So again, I think the fun thing about this is that contrast. So, you know, a, an oversized t-shirt like this, for example, is kind of like a boyfriend tee. Definitely has that boyish charm, has that masculinity. So it's fun to then contrast with a little bit of femininity. Uh, again, bringing interest to the neckline if it is a t-shirt, or maybe it's adding some interest to a turtleneck 
or bringing in a little styling detail with a button up, whatever it is, but it's another great, just go to classic, timeless, can't go wrong. The next one is the choker. Mm -hmm. So again, this is a great one for these more, you know, simple necklines. Um, and it's just same thing, uh, a rolled scarf like that coming from the front, coming back round, nice and tight and snug on the neck and just doing a little bow like that, simple. And again, it's just something that's simple that just goes a long way. And again, it's just gonna kind of add that little bit of unexpected detail. Okay, so then we have the headband. Uh, the headband, same thing, you're going to roll it up and you're gonna bring it from the back of your head to the front, tie a nice little bow, or maybe it's a knot, or maybe you can keep the tails out, or maybe you tuck the tails, but ultimately, yeah, you have that just cute little headband and you push it back. And again, what I love about this styling technique is I think this is definitely a bit of girlish charm. I always bring this in when I just wanna add a little bit of femininity. It's also a great go-to for when you have a bad hair day, Girl knows I have a bad hair day quite often. Okay, last but definitely not least, this is my go-to, my favorite, the cowboy chic, yes. So yeah, same thing, you're just kind of rolling it from tip to the middle and bringing it around the back and bringing it to the front and just doing a simple little knot, yeah. And you can again kind of play with that however, at whatever height you want it. Maybe you want it low with short tails or maybe you want it a bit higher up with longer tails. I use this as an alternative to necklaces. Um, you know, when something kind of on the t-shirt's the kind of plain or whatever, and you kind of feel like it needs a little something within the actual t-shirt itself, um, I think this is kind of a fun alternative to a necklace is kind of when I like to use it. my friends so that is it for today's scarf styling session um these are just some of the fun ways i've been blah, blah, blah. these are just some of the fun ways i've been styling my scarves lately um so yeah i hope that this was helpful for you hopefully it gave you some inspiration for your own scarf styling and if there's any scarf styling that you would like to share with us definitely comment below and let us know because it is because it, it I, I cannot talk today it's like oh it's like slow down girl okay Hopefully today was helpful. And if it was, if you really enjoyed today's episode, you know, give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes. And if you really loved this video, maybe shoot me a little super thanks uh, down below with the little heart and money sign. Uh, I really appreciate that extra bit of support if you can do it. If not, no problem whatsoever. All right, my beautiful fashion friends, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye. Hey,